What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at our first team of the season moments card this year and it is going to be a Digne to review today boys. I'm looking at the stats and I'm looking at a very nice all-rounded fullback, a fullback that might be able to help me going forward, but a fullback that definitely, definitely will be solid defensively. The guy has got 90 pace, 85 dribbling, 75 shooting, 88 defending, 87 physicals with the 85 passing as well. He is a 5 foot 10 player with high medium work rates, 3 star skill moves and a 2 star weak foot the weak foot we all know is obviously not the greatest so it looks like you are going to have to play this guy on only one side and it is going to be on that left side because if you play him on that right side you're pretty much going to be forcing him to use that right foot which we all know is probably not going to end well now when it comes down to the chem style for the card it is going to be an anchor chem style the anchor chem style is literally calling out to this card it's so perfect it gives him that strength which he clearly does need going from an 80 strength to a 90 90 strength is going to make a huge, huge difference, but also giving him a little bit of extra pace, which is, you know, never going to harm anyone. Let's all be fair. Like 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed going up to a 95 acceleration and 95 sprint speed is always going to be something you love to see. Now his shooting ability, look at a long shot. Not bad. Not bad at all. If you get this guy in a shooting opportunity, why not? Give it a go and let's see if it will go into the back of the net. The guy has got 90 shot power with the 83 long shots. Now, there's nothing really else to talk about when it comes down to the shooting. We all know 65 finishing is never going to be the greatest. Now, moving over to the passing ability. He has got 79 vision, 92 crossing, 88 for accuracy, 86 short passing, 78 long passing with the 88 curve as well. Passing ability doesn't look anything spectacular, let's say. Looks like he's going to have to keep it a bit more simple with those short passes. Long passing... It looks okay, I guess. It doesn't look anything, you know, top tier. It really doesn't. Like, LB wise down the line, it will work, but probably work like 70% of the time. That 30% of the time, most likely will be going out of play. Now, moving over to the dribbling ability, he has got 74 agility, 84 balance, 89 reactions, 89 ball control, 84 dribbling, with the 86 composure as well. Not bad. Not bad at all. The only thing I'm worrying about is the agility. 74 agility... We all know is not the greatest. Now, I'm not expecting him to feel like an absolute god on the ball, but I'm expecting him to feel pretty decent. Now, moving on to the defending stats, we have got a player that has 95 interceptions, 83 heading accuracy, 91 defensive awareness, with the 99 standing tackling and the 99 slide tackling. Boys, if this guy can't put in a solid tackle, I don't know what to say anymore because the guy literally has 99 standing tackling. He better be coming out with that ball. Now, moving on to the physicals, he has got 99 jumping with the 97 stamina, the 90 strength, and the 93 aggression. We are looking at a 5 foot 10 player that has 99 jumping. So, those back stick headers probably will be covered by this man right here. But look at his strength and aggression. You already know it's going to be absolutely insane. But when it comes down to the links for this guy, he is. French and that's all I need to know we all know how many good French players are this year and the fact that he comes on the Premier League as well just makes it so much easier to link up with what well, I've personally gone for your boy Son and your boy Nathan Ake which still hasn't got an upgrade I don't know when he's getting an upgrade I thought it was going to be 24 hours after the game was finished but apparently it still hasn't been been upgraded but either way boys the positions that I will be playing Digne in it is going to be a 4-4-2 in that left back position but also in that center back position as well because I know there's going to be a lot of people that's going to say how does he perform in that center back position so we are going to give him a go there but let's get into the games Digne going down the line here let's see what we can do Keep going. Going to go for that ball roll into the inside. He hasn't got skill moves, so obviously we're not going to be able to beat players 1v1. Or maybe, hold up. If we go for the bridge, hold up. Ball roll into the middle. Can we get an early goal? We are going to slightly mess it up. But right there, boys, I must admit, his R1 dribbling seemed very, very, like, weird in a way. It seemed very slow. Let's test out again. Yeah, you can clearly tell. It takes him a little bit of time to obviously move it to one foot to another. But it's not too bad, you know. I do see a switch all the way to the other side, but it is going to be on a two-star weak foot. But that right there wasn't actually too bad of a two-star weak foot. Obviously, the accuracy was there. It's just it didn't get onto the player. But we are going to see if we can run forward here. Flick it forward. Go for it again. R1 dribbling. Yeah, his R1 dribbling seems very, very stiff. You can clearly see it there. 
going to probably pass it all the way up. Let me go for that press. That's a great interception. And we are going to come out of the ball. Digny. Maybe don't allow him in behind there. Use that pace. Use that shielding. Good use of strength. Nice. Well played. Good composure as well. I'm going to go for the switch all the way to the other side. On that two-star weak foot. And it's literally perfect. I'm going to be honest, boys. Right now, his two-star weak foot clearly doesn't seem like a two-star. Like, those kind of passes should not be happening with him. Decker running down the line. I see Digne behind me. I'm going to go for that one, too. Let's see if I can maybe swing this ball all the way round. It's going to be a nice pass. It's going to be a very nice pass. Maybe we can score off this. Or maybe not. Or maybe Deco is just going to get put to the ground. Let me go for that LBY, boys. That's a nice pass. Look at that. That's an LBY all the way over to the other side. Over to Son. I must admit, boys. Like, the presence he gives me going forward is not really that great. Like, yeah, he'll make those overlapping runs if you tell him to. But it's like there's not much you can do with him actually going forward. Because he doesn't feel outrageously good on the ball. He hasn't really got skill moves. And, you know, he's not really that player that I'm going to be taking players 1v1. So, right now, all he's, like, properly given me is a defensive presence. And we apparently... I've got ourselves a cheeky penalty. And you, guess, you best believe there's going to be one person and one person only that's going to take this. 65 penalties to his game. Let's see what we can do. Come on. Let's see if we can aim it top bins. It's not the greatest. But if I maybe green time it or yellow time it, it is going to hit, I believe, crossbar down. And we are going to get the goal. Maybe I can go for a little bit of a press here. Maybe I can get out to him. That's a solid tackle. And he puts the player onto the ground as well. He sent someone on a run. You know what? I'm going to be aggressive here. I'm going to go in for that slide tackle. And we are going to miss it by like a single inch. But look at Digne. Did you see how fast he actually ran straight back into that position? And that's something you really want to see when it comes down to the defenders. You don't want to see them, you know, out of position and start walking back. You want them sprinting back so they can get straight back into the action. Through that middle. Maybe he's going to pass down. He is. Maybe I can go ahead and press him. Nice transition speed. Can I get there? Look at the strength. The body off Edward. And I'm going to go for that pass through the middle. And he does it perfectly. Really nice strength just to get the guy off the ball. Maybe a press. Go for an interception. Well played. And he's shielding him off once again. Go forward a little bit. Maybe flick around a corner. Oh, it's going to be the end of the game. Either way, we got in a, sol we got in a solid tackle right at the last minute. I didn't realize it was the 90th minute. Don't allow that pass through the middle. No turn. Well played. You see how fast as well he went into that tackle. That aggression, you can clearly see it come into play. Can I go for that wide ball? Bad touch from Mbappe. Very bad touch from Mbappe. He's going to pass down, isn't he? I'm going to go in for a slide tackle. That's a perfect slide tackle. Can I get there? I am going to get there. Don't allow him down. Not through that space. Come on. Keep going. Press at him. Go for that tackle. Boys, I'm, look, I'm looking at this guy's tackling ability. And I'm literally looking at him grab every single ball. Like, the ball really hasn't bounced back to my opponent. It's literally stuck to his feet straight after. Nippo's header. Go on. There you go. He's got a bit, little bit of a heading ability to his game. Even though he is 5 foot 10, you have to remember that he is, you know, he has got that 99 jumping to his game. So he is going to be able to win those Nippo's headers. He's going to go straight through the middle, isn't he? I'm going to try to get out to him. Oh, my God. Keep going. Oh, my God. Let's score off this. No way he's called that back for a free kick. Referee. Referee. Someone needs to have a talk to you after this game because there is absolutely no way. No way that's a free kick. That's a perfect slide tackle. Get out to him, Digne. Use that pace to catch up to him. He does so well. And he's just going to straight up clear the ball. Didn't really mean to. I was meant to tackle, but we'll take it either way. He's going to pass it up, isn't he? He's going to go for the gap. Good interception. Nice shielding. Ball roll. I'm going to trust in that two-star weak foot. And it's going to be a pretty decent pass. Every single time, by the way, I do those kind of passes with a two-star weak foot. It always, always goes wrong. Like, it doesn't go anywhere near the player. But with Digne, I'm telling you guys right now, it's going to the player literally every single time. So, I don't really feel like he has a two-star weak foot. It low-key could be like a secret three-star. So, it is time to review. And we ended up playing three games with Digne. We scored ourselves a single goal, which came off a penalty. But we will not talk about the other penalty that we had. Listen, we're pushing it to a side. No one cares about it. 
Either way, this league and a card, boys, if you're going to use him in a fullback position, use him as a very defensive fullback, okay? Don't use him as a fullback that's going to be going forward a lot of the times. He's no Alfonso Davis and he's no, you know, Acuna, let's say, where those players are feeling really good on the ball and those players have the skill moves to beat players 1v1. With Digne only having three-star skill moves and not feeling great on the ball, it's going to be a struggle going forward. So, yeah, if you're going to use him in that fullback position, use him as a defensive fullback. But, boys, that centre-back position, I feel like is the way to go. He is so, so good in that centre-back position. It is ridiculous. Even though he is a 5 foot 10 player, for me... He was doing everything perfect. His defensive awareness was on point. His interceptions was on point. There was not even an occasion where he would miss out on a ball. He was literally on it every single time. And the pace in that centre-back position, we all know is always, always, always going to be top tier. And it definitely, definitely was. He was a player that was catching up to those, you know, to those higher tier strikers, let's say. Either way, this thing they called going for 240,000 coins. For me personally, I thought it was actually more. As soon as I saw an 86 rated team and an 84 rated team, I was sitting here going, oh no, EA, don't tell me you've done another overpriced SBC. But then I realized the players of, you know, the players on the market have dropped in price. So 240k for this card right here, not bad. Not bad at all, and I definitely do believe it's worth it, but I do feel like there will be better fullbacks, especially, you know, with it being team of the season now, I can definitely see better fullbacks for a cheaper price. So I do believe it's worth it because he has very nice links and he is a very good player, but just keep in mind, there will be better players than him, probably going for a cheaper price as well. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace-wise, I am going to give his pace... I'll probably say like a 9.5. A 9.5 slash a 9.6 out of 10. It was definitely, definitely up there. He was rapid to get out to his opponents and he was putting in those solid tackles as well as soon as he got out to him. Shooting ability. I mean, we scored a penalty. I can't really sit there and give him a shooting rating. So we're going to push that to a side for now. Passing ability. Did you see how many times I passed on that weaker foot? And it was like... It wasn't doing anything, you know, there was no effect. There was no two-star weak foot. I'm telling you guys, every single time I pass on a two-star weak foot, it really doesn't go well. Like, literally every single time. But this guy, I was switching the ball all the way to the other side, and it was literally perfect. So, for passing, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like an 8.4 out of 10. He definitely does deserve it. Dribbling ability, as I said, not the greatest. It is on a usable level, but it's still, you know, not the greatest. So, for dribbling, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.4 four out of ten i don't want to go too high but i definitely don't want to go too low either defending ability tackles unreal interceptions unreal his slide tackling was really good as well and i loved his defensive awareness he knew if i went forward with him he needed to run back straight back into that position it was no you know jogging or walking no running full-on sprinting back into the position and that's something you love to see so for defending i am gonna give this guy i would honestly say I'll probably say like a solid 9.3 slash a 9.4 out of 10. If you get a card, you won't be disappointed with the tackles he puts in. And when he moves over to the physicals, my God, you saw on multiple, multiple occasions, he was bodying players off the ball. And you saw his jumping ability as well. And you definitely, definitely saw his aggression. So for physicals, I am going to give this guy, I would honestly say, like a 9.3 out of 10. He deserves it, boys. Like, how strong he is in game and how he was just, like, getting in front of players, shielding them off like it was nothing was unreal. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give this card, I probably would say... Ooh, I probably would say like an 8.9 out of 10, boys. An 8.9 on a dot. I don't believe he deserves any higher than that because he doesn't really give me an attacking presence. If the guy felt good on the ball, obviously he would have got a higher rating. But just because of how solid he is defensively, I am going to give him an 8.9 out of 10. But boys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.